We're going to assume validity when m is less equal to some k, where k is just a positive integer. It's the only assumption we make about it. And then we apply a minus r to the k plus 1 on a function f, and we get 0. So this means a minus r applied to a minus r on to the k on f is 0. So I'm, I'm simply breaking off one of the a minus r operator terms. All right, now, use the base case of the induction. That is a solution to a minus r on something is 0. This implies, therefore, this something, a minus r to the k on f, has the form constant times r to the n. Okay, now let's just think about that line. How did I go from here to here? I'm using that this is a solution to a minus r operating on something is 0. And we know the answer to that. The answer is just a constant times r to the n. So that means this stuff, a minus r and k to f, has to be a constant times r to the n. Now, that is a non-homogeneous case. The right-hand side is not 0. OK, but we use our theorem. And what is the solution to this non-homogeneous thing? The solution is a particular H0 plus the general solution to the homogeneous. That's what our theorem says. So all I got to do is find a particular solution. Question? So how come we need both the particular solution and the general homogeneous? Because the problem that we're going to be given is not homogeneous. So if you don't have a particular solution, all you wind up with is zero. You'll never get a, a non-zero answer. We need both. OK. Now, the corollary comes to the rescue here. The corollary comes to the rescue. Because here is a polynomial, one term, perfectly good polynomial. And a minus r on f is a polynomial times r to the n. And what, does, what did we learn? There is a polynomial of one of larger degree, so that if you apply this to it, you get the target. So, the one larger degree would now go 1, n, n squared, n cubed, up to n to the k. So there's a particular solution, which is a polynomial which goes up to the degree n to the k times r to the n. Now, all this stuff other than the term n to the k r to the n is killed off as part of the general solution. And so the conclusion is that the actual solution has the form f of n 
is a polynomial where the biggest term involves n to the k times r to the n. Here is a polynomial of degree 